Hi, welcome along to Transfer Daily, the show that takes a look that pl takes a look at players that have been linked with a January transfer move to the Arsenal, and uh, it looks like we finally got one done. Christian Bielik, uh, we've been talking about it all week. Seventeen years of age, plays at the moment for Legia Warsaw, but he will be signing for Arsenal. Uh, has been in um, the um, Arsenal training ground doing his medical. And it's said that he will be signing imminently, possibly Monday. Um, that will be announced. But Bielik will be an Arsenal player. Now, what do we know about this kid? Um, not a lot, to be honest. Uh, he's a defensive midfielder, so that's great. We need a defensive midfielder. But caution here, he's very, very young, even though we're being told... Hi, welcome to Transfer Daily, the show that takes a, look at, the, um, takes a look at players <laughs> that have been linked with a January transfer move to the Arsenal. And uh, it looks like... Sorry, getting a slight malfunction there, but we're being told that he's going to go straight into the first team. Um, but let me just caution you. I was listening to um, his current manager, um, who's Henningberg. Remember, he used to play for um, Manchester United. He used to play for Blackburn. He's the manager of um, Legia Warsaw. And he was sort of cautioning yesterday, saying that, listen, he's a brilliant prospect. You know, lots of clubs around Europe have looked at him. He's going to be a really, really top player. However, he's not ready yet for the big stage. You know what I mean? He, he wasn't even playing regularly at Legia Warsaw. They were just bringing him through... So what Henningberg is saying, look, listen, this guy's going to be a fantastic player. He's a fantastic prospect, but he is not there yet. And Arsenal need players that are there now because, as you can see, at the moment, we've got a lot of problems, um, particularly um, in defence and in that um, defensive midfielder position. And we need players in now that with, with a lot of experience. But, you know, Christian Bielik, he's... Find uh, use because you know at least we've got a signing um, across the line. We were being told that um, Hamburg were very close to signing him as well, but he's chosen to come to Arsenal, and he's one for the future, six foot two. And listen, he could be a long-term answer to that defensive midfielder problem. But at the moment, he's still going to be a player that's going to be learning his trade, going to be very young. But Arsenal have actually made a signing. And we've heard Arsene Wenger saying that at the moment he's working day and night to try and get players in because, you know, even now we've, we've got big problems at Arsenal. I mean, the news yesterday was bad enough that Debuchy is going to be out for three months. But to then hear that Mikel Arteta is out for three months as well. I mean, you know, our, our injuries are absolutely appalling. To so many key players, I don't care what team you are, whether you're Chelsea, whether you're Real Madrid, whether you're Barcelona, if you're missing so many key players for so long in a season, you are not going to win a title. And we just have an incredible amount of injuries. And I don't know what the answer is. I mean, an injury like Debucci's one, what can you do about it? You know what I mean? That's nothing to do with the training ground. That's nothing to do with the pitch. It wasn't even on the pitch. I mean, it's just a freakish injury. He had an injury earlier on in the season that kept him out for three months. I feel really sorry for, for Debuji, to be honest. Giroud, broken leg. Walcott, broken foot. Um, you know, just it's just the, you know, Wilshire. It just goes on and on and on. And it's just absolutely incredible, the amount of injuries. But we must get in the right defensive cover if we're going to have, you know, a decent season and get into that top four. Arsene Wenger seems to have recognised that. He's saying, saying that um, he's working day and night and he's going to bring in these defensive players that we need. But just who will those players be? Well, one player that is getting strongly linked at the moment is the uh, Celtic um, defender, um, Virgil van Dijk. Um, this guy... Again, he's been doing great things up there in Scotland. He's, he's considered as a Celtic's best defender. He's getting heavily linked, and he actually replied to those links, saying that, you know, to a um, uh, media outlet over there in Holland, that, you know, I'm really flattered to be linked to Arsenal. That normally means that, yes, I'd love to go to Arsenal. So he's saying he's really flattered to be linked with Arsenal. Will, is this the player that um, will add that defensive cover for Arsenal. Is he good enough for Arsenal? I mean, 
Playing up there in Scotland is one thing, and this is no disrespect to the Scottish League, but come on, the standard of it is nowhere near the uh, Premier League. I don't even think it's nowhere near the Championship. So, you know, having a great season up there is one thing. Coming down and doing it in the Premier League is a completely other thing. And uh, will Virgil van Dijk be the answer? Um, I don't know. We, I, I, I've seen games in which he's played in. He's looked good. He's big. He's imposing. He looks the part. But I haven't seen enough of him to know if he is the real deal, if he's going to be able to, you know, cut it in the Champions League, if he's going to be able to cut it in the real top-level matches. That is what we need to know. And that is probably what the Arsenal scouts are looking at at the moment. Is this guy going to be good enough for Arsenal? But we've certainly taken a long look at the moment at Virgil van Dijk, even though so we don't want to let him go, but a, a decent bid for van Dijk. I'm sure we'll get that over the line. Um, we're also uh, seeing a link that's been all over the press today where it, they're saying that Morgan Schneiderlin, um, a deal has been agreed for him to come to Arsenal. Now, um, <laughs> the, link for this, the link for this makes me laugh. It's, it's from um, the so-called secret footballer. Now, you may have heard of the secret footballer. He's written books. He, he says he's a Premier League footballer, but he, he writes these books um, from the basis that he keeps himself secret. He's saying that he's been told that Morgan Schneiderlin has agreed a deal to come to Arsenal, um, but in the summer. Now, you know, do we believe this or not? You know, again, the secret footballer is saying it. So if, if, if it doesn't go through, there's no comebacks. Um, listen, it could be something in the fact that Schneiderlin could be coming to Arsenal in the summer. If he does move, it will be a summer move. I don't think... Um, that you'll see Schneiderlin um, moving before the summer. Um, but will he be coming to Arsenal in the summer? That is what we're going to have to wait and see. The problem is Arsenal could do with Morgan Schneiderlin right, right now. And I don't think that uh, Schneiderlin is going to move right now. But I think Arsenal could do with Schneiderlin right now. Another player that's been linked with Arsenal today is uh, Marcello Brozovic. Now, again, this is another player that we've been told are uh, also very interested in. Apparently, they've put two bids in for this player and are really, really interested in bringing him to the Emirates. He's described as the new Xavi. <laughs> you know, these players always get this linked. Well, he's been described as the new Xavi. Again, if he is the new Xavi, do we need a Xavi at this stage? That's not what we need. We need a holding midfielder, def defensive midfielder, Maybe if we do buy a player like this, again, this is a player where we're looking to the future. He's only 22 years of age. Maybe a, sort of you're looking at and saying long-term replacements for players like Thomas Rizicki, etc. But he's been linked with a move um, to Arsenal today. Again, not the defensive um, midfielder players that we desperately need. And I don't know. It's, to me, I'm just looking on it and thinking, you know, are we going after what we need right now. Surely Arsene Wenger knows that it's a defender and a defensive midfielder that's got to be the absolute priorities for Arsenal if we're to do anything this season. Um, let's get into your comments and see what you guys have had to say um, today about all the uh, all the rumours. Uh, Adam Shearer is saying um, Schneidlin won't leave Southampton, especially if they make the Champions League. I think... I think even if they make the Champions League in the summer, I can see Schneiderlin leaving. I can see him leaving in the summer, but not before that. Um, James Breen, Breen says, I'd take Ilkay Gundogan um, or Vidal. <laughs> I mean, with Vidal's gone very quiet, those Vidal rumours. That's probably because uh, I don't think they, they'll sell him. Uh, now, they're getting very ambitious now in the comments here. Um, Abdul... Ra Abdul Rahman says uh, we should pay big money and get Pogba in. That would be a dream to see Pogba in that midfield. But uh, again, uh, hard to pull that one off. There'd be a lot of money and a lot of suitors for him as well. Clayton Starling says Schneidlin, however unlikely, um, it is. it would be amazing and would suit Arsenal much better than somebody like Carvalho. Um, and Suren Singh 999 says uh, Sanchez 
can help bring in Vidal. Yeah, they both um, the both of them are, are from Chile. So you know, and uh, basically everybody out there today that's commenting are talking about defenders and defensive midfielders, and that is what we need. We need that. Arsene Wenger says he knows us. That's what we need. He's got this twenty million pounds, which incidentally, uh, that's not enough. Twenty million pounds is the, what they were going to use. We're hearing that it, they may put more money on top of that now to go. Now that Arteta's injured as well, it's going to be really interesting to see who Arsenal bring in, whether they're going to go for sort of loan deal covers or whether they're going to really go after the players that we really need, the top top class players. That is what we're going to find out over the next couple of weeks. But we've got one over the line, 17 years of age, <laughs> a typical Arsenal Vega signing. Christian Bialik is going to be an Arsenal player. Thanks for watching Arsenal Fan TV. We'll be back tomorrow with another Transfer Daily.